They fought side by side with British comrades for more than two centuries. A statue has been created to highlight the courage and the sacrifice of Gurkha soldiers from conflicts around the world. It's due to be unveiled in Aldershot later this month. Steve Humphrey reports. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. It was the first time the people behind the project had seen the almost completed bronze sculpture. It shows how brave Gurkha Kulbir Thapa carried a wounded British comrade to safety through the mud and carnage of a First World War battlefield. What's the reaction? Wow. It's amazing. Yeah, fantastic. It's really, really nice. The young Gurkha had already rescued two of his colleagues, but went back for the soldier from the Leicestershire Regiment. He was the first Gurkha to be awarded the Victoria Cross. To see almost the end product, you know, it's just amazing. And when it actually stands on the plinth, I'm sure that is even going to be far better. It can be very to show the hardship, tell the story without it becoming sentimental. Sculptor Amy Goodman says it was an extremely challenging project, portraying Colbert's gallantry with historical accuracy. It's an intimidating pressure, but it's a good pressure too because it actually means makes me want to do my absolute best. Um, there's a lot of weight of expectation. If I sometimes think about it too much, it's a bit overwhelming, but I just have to focus on the task in hand. Members of the Gurkha community want the statue to be a reminder of the strong links between Nepal and Britain. It shows camaraderie, it shows friendship, it shows working together as a one team. Kulbir Tharpa returned to Nepal after the First World War, where he died in 1956 at the age of 67. It was lovely today because they saw, saw it in the bronze for the first time, and, and I wanted them to wait to see the wax applied because that lovely, lustrous richness of that red and the ferret came through. The sculpture will be officially unveiled in Aldershot on September the 25th. Steve Humphrey, BBC South Today. And of course, we will be there at the unveiling. Now, Lewis is here with the sport, and we are jumping.